things gamers it's your boy put mcgee here back with another magic video and today i'm doing something uh that i don't do very often on this channel which is to play a brawl deck and uh the reason i don't play brawl decks very often is because i only you can only play them on wednesdays unless you buy brawlers guild hall and i refuse to buy brawlers guild hall because i think it's dumb uh that they make you pay for a format that should be available all the time it's really stupid but for the, in in the current uh time in the current timeline we're in, um, Brawler's Guild Hall is free for, uh, I think, until April 16th. So if you want to play more Brawl, get on it now. I think that's like 10 more days or 9 more days as of when I post this video. Um, so yeah, you'll probably be seeing a couple more uh, Brawl videos on my channel in the coming days. So if you're new and you want to see more of that, do subscribe or uh, like the video so you can uh, get not notified, but you can see more pop up uh, in your feed. So yeah, uh, here's Kaikar Wins Fury. Uh, if you're not familiar with the card, it's a 3-3 flyer for four mana, and it's a Jeskai, uh, Jeskai Commander, a blue, red, and white. And whenever you cast a non-creature spell, so that's instant sorceries, enchantments, artifacts, uh, planeswalkers. Yeah, whenever you cast one of those, you create a 1-1 white spirit creature token with flying, and then it has an ability, Kaikar has an ability, where you can sacrifice a spirit to add one single red mana. So uh, one of the things I wish we had available, so I, I want to make this deck a, in a historic version. I think it would be actually quite a bit better. We have more cards in historic that feed off of, or, you know, that we can use uh, the spirit sacrifice ability to, uh, to make good. Uh, what is wrong with my brain? Anyway, so yeah, there's more stuff in Historic that we can use uh, Kaikar for, but we're playing this in Normal Brawl, so Standard Brawl, I guess, uh, right now. So essentially, we're running a Jeskai Control package. We have a couple of semi-board wipes we're running stuff like Flame Sweep, and uh, I mean, that's essentially it in terms of board wipes, but we have quite a bit of other removal, and we're running some counter spells and lots of Planeswalkers. So we've got a Chandra here, another Chandra over here, Ral, Ral, uh, a Teferi, and uh, yeah, we're also running like Dream Trawler in the top end. I was, I had a Niv Mizzet in here at one point, but I didn't like it, so I took it out. Um, but running a lot of removal and Embercleave actually. Embercleave because it, not only does it activate Kaikar's ability, but hopefully we're gonna be attacking with a lot of tokens so that we can uh, cast Embercleave for pretty cheap. So. That could should be good. And then a card I wanted to try out is Sundering Stroke. It's from uh, Throne of Eldraine and hasn't seen a whole lot of play because it's kind of hard to find a use for. But I felt like uh, we, we should have some occasions where we have a lot of mana uh, in the late game or we have a lot of spirit tokens and not much to do with them. We can cast Sundering Stroke as good uh, multi-target removal or damage to the face of our opponent and go ahead and win the game with that. So yeah, let's jump into the deck and uh, we'll, do some, we'll do some game plan here. All right, Sparkle. What is this, Vraska? Interesting. Vraska as the commander. Okay, this is definitely a keepable hand. We can probably, yeah, we we could free Mulligan, but I think this is best. Uh, yeah, we can keep, we have early removal, turn two removal, turn three Teferi. It's a keeper. Uh, we probably want a Fabled Passage turn one, unless we draw another land here. Which we don't, oh, speaking of which, I, for, I may have forgotten to put Command Tower in this deck. Uh, that doesn't seem smart. Uh, so yeah, maybe that was that was probably a mistake. But I haven't had many land uh that bad of land trouble with this deck. I feel like most of our casting costs are relatively easy. Uh, yeah, we'll go Temple of Epiphany here. We don't need to shock in Hallowed Fountain if we don't have to. Keep eye and eyes on the top. Huh. Huh. Okay. Strange. Very strange. Yeah, I'm going to play the island and just hold up Ionize instead of playing Teferi. Because um, there's nothing that I need to bounce with Teferi. That's the main reason I, I would play it, is if I wanted to bounce something. Oh, I guess they don't know that I have Ionize, so we'll go ahead and just counter that. <laughs> bye bye, Braska. And they can see it. Okay. Um,. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to take a quick quick break to uh fix the command tower issue. All right, maybe we'll get a real game here. That would be nice. Nice to see against Phoenix with the Domri. I, what what does annoy me about Brawl is that I feel like people are constantly just playing uh playing planeswalkers instead of creatures and I think it's more fun with creatures. I don't know. Planeswalkers as commanders seems broken a little bit. Now I'll keep command tower on top because it's 
so darn useful. Oh, I thought Once Upon a Time was banned in this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> That's lame. I guess it shouldn't be banned because it, it's singleton, so you can only use, have one of it anyway, so you're unlikely to get it on turn one. Okay. That's fine. So we'll go Command Tower. Uh, ooh. I guess I Lava Coil. Yeah, I'll go ahead and Lava Coil to get that off the field because I don't have mana for Absorb. Which I have next turn, so we have mana for Absorb now. So I'll just pass. We are right as rain. Oh yeah, that's an Absorb, baby! Counterspell the Commander. Hmm, feels good. Okay. I feel like if I play Kaikar, he just gets killed. So maybe I go... Um, I'll play Ral here. Get a scry. No, we're gonna bottom that. Not useful here. We need to get counter spells and removal. Oh my. That's something we would have wanted to counter. Um Yeah, let's go Fabled Passage and go ahead and grab another um probably another mountain. And then I'll scry. When a storm sea washes the dead ashore, keep Are you serious? <laughs> I scryed it to the bottom, shuffled because of Fabled Passage, and we get it again. Uh, I'm going to bottom that again. It's not, not very useful here. Not very useful at all. Uh, shock is good. Shock is very useful. Though they are getting... They have a lot of mana, so they can cast Domri again. Arcane Signet. Okay. Ooh. Oh my. Okay, Cavalier of Thorns. Hmm, how can we kill Cavalier of Thorns? Spam call. Um, I guess I hold the shock. I think I just pass. I hold shock. What do they? Oh, oh, with haste. Shoot, that's not great. Oh wait, not that big of a deal though. It's fine. It's fine. I I forgot about Perforos, uh, giving other creatures haste. Lame, lame. I'm gonna shock this in so I can hold up uh, my command tower. I could, let's see, let's, um, cancel, how much damage does that do? Ah, not enough. Let's do this. Definitely Clarion doesn't really help us here, uh, but I will take Firemind's research, I guess. Um, and then I will, yeah, no need to copy a spell, I'll just scry. Bottom of the island. And then I will attack. I'm actually going to uh, Firemind's Research. Yep. Auto pay. Because if I do this, I cast it, I make another spirit, and that gives me the mana to play shock on their turn if I need it um, by sacrificing a spirit. I'm a little bit scared of what they can do with Perforos here. Um, I don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel like I'm in a very precarious position here, though. Like I have a lot on the board, but they also have a lot on the board. Oof. Okay, so they can do that and then use Perforos' ability because they have three mana available. Well, I guess they already had three mana available. Oh my. Um, okay, so I will cast Shock there. Um, wait, cancel. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to cast Shock here. Um, sack this to pay. So that will kill their Cavalier of Thorns. Um, I'll deal one to the Domri. Uh -huh, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> now you get the spirit 
command zone. Back to the command zone for you, old Kakar. Okay, so that turned out okay, actually. Um, I'm going to scry and then draw. Bottom the steam vents, so we don't need another land right now. We've got plenty of those. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. So I can Elspeth, and I actually probably want to exile um, Perforos. Yeah, we'll go ahead and play Elspeth Conquer's Death now. Um, I'll exile Perforos. Domri is not as scary. Because um, we have we have a lot of other ways to deal with that. And then I'll just go Tranquil Cove. Okay. Okay. So they can just straight up play uh, the Great Hinge. <laughs> but that does that tap them out all the way? Oh my, Endra's Forerunners, huh? Which gives them the mana to play Great Hinge now? Oh, yikes. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So they're doing like, yeah, gruel monsters. It's a little scary. Gonna have a hard time dealing with, with that one. Oh wait, no, I can kill Endre's Forerunners, because check this out. Signs indicate that that Better watch out. There's a storm. Yep. Okay, Adam, because it deals four damage and I get to copy it. Then I can bop you. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> feels feels mean, but it feels good. Wait a second. Oh, the second one wasn't adamant. Oh no. Oh. Uh, uh. The second one dealt three damage instead of four, because it didn't. I it copied it, which doesn't that doesn't make any sense really. If you copy a spell. It should cast it the way... whatever. Whatever. I guess since no mana was spent to cast it, you don't get the adamant ability. Ugh. That feels so horrible. Well, yeah. I should concede, but I'm not going to. I mean, I, I have... I don't have to concede. I'm fine. We're fine. Uh, we're not in a great position because they have an 8-8 eight, eight and I just dumped spell, dumped a spell into it and... A Ral ability into it to not get anything out, so they get Domri back. Mm hmm. Oh my. Hmm. Okay, yep, that's not surprising. And there's a Voracious Hydra, which is going to come in as a very large creature, so we need Counterspell, really. Yeah, we take that damage there. And then before our turn, we will scry with Castle Vantress. Teferi works ish. Oh, that's real good. Oh, yeah. Yep. Odds of victory look good. Hmm. Shoot. Well, that stinks. I'm trying to think of how I can make this work. Hmm. I don't have the mana to play Teferi after Kaikar, sadly. Um, so I think I go... Play Kaikar. I probably should have just done this beforehand. Ooh, See what I draw. Ionize or response. Uh, 
but I won't have the mana. Oh, actually, I won't have mana to do anything with. <laughs> I've been one mana short of like being having what I need all game. All game. Yeah, I really need to ionize the uh, Voracious Hydra, but I can't because uh, I am one man short of that. And I don't have... If I had a Spirit, I could sack it to pay for the one mana, but they're going to do... What would that be? In 7-7, uh, seven, seven, that can uh, kill Kaikar and then attack me. Hmm, feels good. Hmm... <sighs> Yep. Voracious Hydra for, for 8. How did I miscalculate that so badly? Voracious Hydra for 8. Oh, because of Great Hinge. Yep. I mean, I guess they could just double them. Double the tokens. Or not the tokens, the counters. And give it haste. Riot, haste, yeah, haste, trample. That's a lot. It's a lot. Oh, good. They just have Dombri's Ambush now. That's great. Mm-hmm. So we can't really bring that back. And do I die here? Was that 25? Oh, good. We, uh, no, 26 damage. Great. We're still in it, guys. <laughs> We're still in it. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'll go ahead and concede. We can't win this. We oh, we were so close to doing to just getting it right, you know. There were a couple of scenarios where if I'd had another uh, untapped land, we could have done so much more, so much more. But alas, alas, that was a stressful game. I felt really good about it for a while, um, but their their creatures were mostly too big, and then I punted with not killing the. Yeah, that was bad. That was pretty bad. So I guess I guess that was my fault. All right, vicious with the Chulain. Interesting. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, we take a free mulligan here, and that's not good, but it works. Uh, we do have three lands, so I'll keep and go island first. I'll go Windscarred Crag. Gets us our white mana source and our red mana source. So we can play Teferi next turn. Uh, ooh. Artifact creature or enchantment. So we can bounce their Arcane Signet, which I feel is actually a good play. It sets them back a little ways. Oh wait, yes. Definitely submit one. Now. Oh look, my own Arcane Signet. Very good. Very good. So they play Arcane Signet again. Interesting. Okay, so I can go... I can play Blast Zone. Or I can do this and then play Royal Scions. I think I go Kaikar here. I don't think they're going to have removal for it. Um, so I think that's the play. I guess they could have removal if they have um, if they have a white mana source. They could play like uh, Prison Realm or Conclave Tribunal or something. But if they don't have a white mana source, oh wait, they do because they have Arcane Signet. Duh. Oh, Field of Ruin. I see. So Gyre Engineer, Gyre Engineer. Okay, so we go. Let's see, Arcane Signet first. Then I can, yeah, I can use Kaikar's ability to sack the spirit to play Ral. And then I will take Wing of Words, put that in the graveyard, and attack. All right, all right. 
Looks like a pretty decent board state to me. Pretty decent. Hmm. Evolving Wilds. Oh, I see. Hmm. Uh huh. Very interesting choice. Very interesting indeed. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, uh, we'll take Embercleave. <laughs> Play Tranquil Cove. Um, we will scorch the with Dragonfire. I am not going to stick this one out. And then I will bounce. Uh, what hinders them the most? I think bouncing uh, Nylea. No, bouncing. Gyre Engineer and hinders them the most. Gyre Engineer, however you wanna, have you wanna call it. Okay, let's see if I attack. I can cast this for four. Attach it there, and then boom, baby. That's why we play Embercleave. Get him to su not succeed, concede. Ah, yes. Yes. All right. It's going relatively well. Okay, Miguel, with your Nicobolus Dragon God. Hmm. I think we take this free mulligan here. We need a blue mana source. That is a good starting hand, if I do say so myself. So we can... We probably Hallowed Fountain it up. Ah. Come on, man. That's not cool. There goes my Arcane Signet or my Royal Scions, probably. Yeah, that slows me down considerably. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play the mountain just so I have Scorching Dragonfire available if they play a creature here that I don't like. Okay, looks like they... Well, I guess they run Ionize in this deck. So... I'll play that tapped and then pass. Because <laughs> I don't want to get Royal Scions countered. Command Tower. Hmm. So they're going to be able to place. Shoot. Okay, so we don't have a counter spell. Uh, I don't like that. We don't have a counter spell for Nicol Bolas on their turn. I don't play Kaikar into a counter spell. Do I play Chandra into a counterspell? E or Ral? I think I play Ral into a counterspell instead of Chandra. Maybe they're not playing a. They don't have a counterspell, but they. Ooh, Chemistry Inside. Okay. Maybe they had like a Murderous Rider or Bedevil or something. Um, yep. Vanishing Light. Yeah, we kind of want that, right? Yeah, we'll take Banishing Light, keep it on top. We need another land, actually. I should have bottomed that. I don't know. Being silly. If they didn't get their fifth land, that's good for us, of course. Oh, but they did. But it's tap land, so they can't play Nicobolus this turn. Very fortunate. Very fortunate. I'm going to go ahead and scry before I do anything, because if there's something, if there's a land on top, you can bury your crimes, but your we don't want that. No, we want to bottom that. It doesn't help us at all. 
Uh, I could go Royal Scions, try to draw for a land. Uh, I feel like I just feel like if I play Kaikar without a counter spell, uh, it just gets killed. So I think I go Royal Scions here. But the thing is, I'm giving them more abilities for their Nicobolas, so that's good. Uh, so we'll draw a card, discard a card. Not a land. Uh, in fact, well, it's actually a really good play on top of Kaikar. So I think I um, discard Response Resurgence and then pass. <clears throat> Is this visible? Yes, it is. Okay. It probably... They're not playing Nicobolus. That's interesting. Okay, so we scry before we draw. Please be a land. Give me a land. Ride the light. I guess it works. It works. <laughs> okay, so we will draw that and probably... I think we discard Depose Deploy. Bottom slaying fire because we need more lands, and then I. Oh wait, no, I have Thassa's intervention is a counter spell. Got to remind myself of that. It doesn't just fish up cards. It's a counter spell. So let's see what they've got here, if anything. I'm a little bit worried they just. Ah. Well, that's super mean, man. Ah, I kind of forgot about that card. <laughs> chromatic Lantern, Chromatic Lantern. Ugh, okay, resolve. So that means they have four mana up. Yeah, I just passed to my turn. Get a Plains. Kaikar dies if I play him, right? And then I don't have a counter spell, so I just can't really do that. So we continue to scry. Lava Quill doesn't really help us. Then I will draw and discard. Swiftwater Cliffs is good, but what do I discard? Um, I actually think I discard Chandra here. She's pretty unhelpful. And then I pass because I need to hold. I need to hold a counter spell. They can play Kimster's Insight, but I don't care about that. Or they go Murderous Rider. Ugh. I resolve it because if I counter that, they just drop in Nicobolus and kill Nicobolus. Though I could have killed Nicobolus, or they kill. Ah, uh, maybe I should have countered that instead of saving it. We'll go ahead and uh, dragon fire that bad boy. Oh, can I cancel? No, that, that's fine. Yep, and then we go to my turn. Does that do, nope, it does not do what I want. I don't care about murderous rider on the field. That's fine. I'm just, I also screwed up. I should not have played the, the land that I played. I wasn't thinking about it. Dream Trawler is good. It's a very good keep. I'll pass. All right, control versus control. Pretty, pretty boring, um, but I am stressed about it because uh, I've had a couple misplays already this game, I know. And when you're playing against control, control they will really take advantage of that. Yeah, I resolve it. Okay, so what I was worried was that they were going to play Nicol Bolas and then immediately Elder Spell to buff him up and then ult him. Um, but this, that's fine. That's, that's okay. Uh, <laughs> so...
Yeah, we go. We play Dream Trawler here. I think we gotta play Dream Trawler here. It may get countered, and if it does, that's really sad. Chemistry Insight. Okay, because the reason we play Dream Trawler is that I can make it instead of I can make it uh, hexproof if Nicobolus tries to destroy it, and so they just kind of waste that. They force me to discard a card though. Um, I don't have a counter spell up, but this is a strong enough uh, attacker that I yeah I can get away with this. And if they get Nicobolus down, I can just banishing light on it. Okay, so they're just drawing. Interesting play. So I guess they don't have any gas in hand. They got You just got to play your commander, man. At some point, you got to do it. Uh, or or you don't. Or you don't do it. So I attack here. Oh, that's interesting. No, we don't do that. That's that's a little bit bold. Okay. Yep. So we deal five, and then I can go Castle Ardenvale, and this is the point of the game where I can play Kaikar and hold up uh, Thassa's intervention. Though they probably have eye and eyes at this point. Tails end. They have three mana. I can counter that. Hmm. Nah. Oh, wait. But how much mana do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So they cast. Shoot. Oh, boy. Yeah, this is like the one time we can get away with this. Because it forces them to either play another counterspell here, which they may do, and they have a negate. Great. Okay, so they negate my counterspell, counter my commander. That's horrible. Um, yeah, put it in the command zone. And so now they get their Nicobolus. Almost definitely. I don't see why they wouldn't play it at this point. Oh, oh my. They're running Field of the Dead. Ah! Oh! <laughs> That's terrible! <laughs> so they probably, yeah, they do that. But I think I actually hexproof it. And then they go nickel. No, what do they do here? Attack. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Let's uh let's attack first. I'm going to attack Mu Yanling, uh, so it can't bully me, because it can bully Dream Trawler and force me to discard cards. So yeah, we just deal damage to it, and they still have not brought their commander out, which I respect, sort of. So I can do, I can play Kaikar, I feel like it just gets killed again. So I think I go uh, Chandra. Indeed! Ashiok's Erasure, indeed. Oh, can't be countered. No, that's the, actually the spell. Oh, that's the spell that gets around the can't be countered rule. Oh my gosh. Ah. <laughs> that makes me so annoyed. But, I mean, I admire it. Nobody plays, I mean, I say nobody plays it. Uh, It's not played that often because it's just, like, kind of okay. Um... It's because it's a four mount, essentially a four-minute counterspell, but it gets around the can't be countered thing, so I respect it, you know? What can I say? They're okay, instead of playing Nicobolus, they're drawing. Don't no. No way you just did that. How How are they getting so lucky? Because that's what's happening. Is they're just getting lucky? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. I pass turn. 
Okay, Explosion is very good here because if they play Nucabolus, which they do, I resolve that. I can cast this for five. Uh huh. So I kill Nicobolus immediately, unless they have a counter spell, which if they do, I'll be pissed. I still have to resolve his ability, but I can just exile a dumb old planes that I don't want. And now, not only do I have counter spells, I have more lands to play, and we are still rocking and rolling. But Thief of Sanity is very annoying. Okay. Why would they not attack with their zombie? I'm not real sure, but it's fine. So we go, yeah, we need an island. Okay. I think I do Winged Words because I have Dovin's Veto as a counterspell. I mean, it could be worse, I guess. You don't have removal right now. Oh, Brazen Borrower. Okay, resolve. It's fine. I'm much more concerned with Nicol Bolas, the Dragon God. And I counter you, sir. And Dovin's Veto cannot be countered, so even if they had a... Uh, even if they had a gate or Dovin's Veto of their own, they can't counter mine. So I've got blockers. They know I have Ember Cleave. We'll see if they block. Brazen Borrower, fine. Let's go to blockers, see what they do here. You won't, you won't, okay. So we will flash this bad boy in on you. Take him to 10 and then we pass. So I, have a lot I can do. Well, not a, not a lot. I have two things I can do. I can absorb. Darn it. Field of the dead. You're so annoying. I think I have to resolve this. And then I counter Nicobolus. What are you gonna do, Chief? What you gonna do? Uh, no blocks. No blocks at all. Hmm. Isn't that something? I know I kill my own spirits, but I wipe their whole board. I can play Castle Imbreth. To do that and I still don't kill them because I'm a dum-dum hmm so they're not dead they're not dead do they get to play Nicobolus for free here yep wait how do they oh wait oh they still have to pay the extra mana okay 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 got it got it got it Okay. Ah, oh, that is not ideal. That is not ideal. Field of the Dead, so good, so good. Because the only thing I can do is Castle Ardenvale, I make a token. I can equip Embercleave to the token 
Oh, wait a second. No, 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 no. I got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got this. I do this, equip you, and then I give it plus... Yep, I go... Yep, Castle Embreath. For the win. Yes, we did it. Oh, that was such a grindy game. Very annoying matchup. <laughs> But we pulled through. We pulled through. If you guys made it to the end of that, uh, I appreciate you watching it. It was fun to play. It was a very fun deck, actually. Super fun to play. I think it definitely needs a little bit of tuning. Probably a time wipe or... Um, I was thinking maybe time wipe or uh, Storm's Wrath. Storm's Wrath or uh, potentially uh, Shatter the Sky. Some kind of board wipe that gets over those decks with big creatures because most of my board wipes do damage so that I can uh, kind of work around them and not kill a bunch of my own creatures, but generally we end up killing some of our own creatures anyway. So um, I think Shatter the Sky, stuff like that would probably be ideal. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to see more Brawl stuff, do uh, hit the comments below or like the video to let me know. And the deck list to this video will be in the description. So yeah, check that out. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.